I'm a god. Maybe I heard a bit when I murder shit. In the moment I be tagging off a tourniquet. When I burn him in a hit him in this tournament, I don't even gotta enter, but I'm gonna win this tournament. That's what I'm all about. Okay, well now I'm kind of frustrated because I didn't need to spend any of that gold. I had to... I gave up and I went to go look up to see what in the world you're supposed to do. And all you're supposed to do is just survive. And eventually she'll stop. So, yeah. I don't know how long this will take, but they said it could be a while. So I guess we'll just continually do this for a little bit. Although, apparently, you actually could buy something. Some kind of, like, thing at the bake sale and used it and instantly ended this battle. So, that's interesting. I would have known that. Would have bought something. So, I guess I'll just continue to do this. Oh, what in the shadow is changing shape? So what happens if I just go ahead and give her the rest of my money? Oh, that sucked. Okay, I need to use a healing item right now. Does that mean it's over? Because I used all of my money? And the herd spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. No, I hadn't heard. But thank you for informing me of that. When they go under the door, Snowden's fatal code isn't passable alone. Okay. What has this got to do with me? Can we just end this already? Jesus money from your soul will be able to rent them a heated limo. Oh, that's bullcrap. Okay, healing item. Before we die. With all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation, or even build a spider baseball field. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay, I get it. You're you're going to use the money that I gave you to go, like, survive. Now, move along. And after that, it's time for dinner, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Holy crap! Um, I better not die here. I'm going to be mad. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Awesome. Still alive. I'm a pet. Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause? Oh my, this has all been a big... Oh! Okay. Okay. Must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. Take it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all, I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. I'll spare you now. Thank you. That was ridiculous. I, that, so far, is probably my most hated boss fight. That was stupid. Okay, what is, what is that poster?
Closer for Metaton's latest stage performance. Dragon's Tale to Star Cross Lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Okay. I guess we're going to be a part of this. Oh, that human. Could it be? What the fuck are you wearing? My one true love? Will someone put a bullet in my head right now? No, I'm not shipping this. This is not a thing that's happening right now. Yo, get that evil look out of your eye. Please run away. Monster King. Forbid your stay. Yo, back up from me. Why, why can we move around this part? What's the point of it? We'll die a lot. You can only die once. Can I just kick your ass already? So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. I don't know, whatever shall I do, my love of business has been cast away into the dungeon. Dungeon with the puzzle so dastardly my paramour will surely perish. Perish, not perish. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually... Wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Yeah? Uh, sure. Why not? Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds, you'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. My poor love, I'm so filled with grief I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Okay, so... What the crap? Um... Oh, I'm so sorry, looks like you're out of time. Here comes the planes, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now, they'll start backing away. <sighs> Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh, I'm assuming we're not, we weren't actually supposed to do that. Oh no, how could this happen? Fooled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right. <laughs> Come on, man, it's all I give up already. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of late. You'll never be able to defeat us, not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, and now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? Make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh great, another fight with freaking Metaton. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad. <clears throat> Don't worry. It's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. Press the yellow button. Phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling, say goodbye.
What the crap? Now press Z. What the hell just happened? You've defeated me, how can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. I don't even know what they said at the end. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without... Without ending up letting everyone down. But... Guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. I was about to say, I'm still not watching that Mew Mew Cutie what the fuck ever it was. It's just, pal M it's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Okay, tell me there's gonna be a save spot coming up here in just a second. Cause I think we're closing in on the end of the episode. Can I buy stuff from you? Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. Actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Yo, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something to be able to heal me. Okay, that's the stage. Alright, how are y'all doing? Oh, hey, we're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell him dying about this, okay? He seems happy. Oh, this is... okay. Surely there's gonna be a safe spot up here. Oh, hey. What's up? Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure, we'll make time for it. Great, thanks for treating me. Treating you? I don't have any money. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? What's gotten into you? Oh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? Sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock knock, and suddenly from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Hell yeah it is, oh my god. No, stop. Then she just howls with laughter. Like the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Oh, my lord. Wow, needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Oh my god, what if this is the goat woman? <laughs> Paperus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. I'm serious, what if this is the goat woman and he knows we killed her? One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. She told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? This is the goat woman. 
Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely, or sincerely likes bad jokes, has an, integri an integrity you can't say no to. If I could read English and do English, I'll be okay. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. This just got really dark. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Well, actually, I did get one game over. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, you kind of are. Heh. <laughs> Undyne killed me. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. If someone really cares about you. No, they don't, because they're dead. I killed them in cold blood. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things, blending and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without, without being up to your armpits and puzzles. That sounds about right. Work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. It means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzles. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. Please laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Are, are you Sans's dad? Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay, can I find a save? There we go. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you in the next one. See you around, guys. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't.